Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, so I heard a lot of people having problems listening to our earlier video on EE Arts today. Uh, as it seems, YouTube was giving all sorts of issues with the video spinning but not coming up, et cetera, et cetera. Not, not surprised, really, as you know, the war on information uh, is really being waged. But they could watch it on other platforms, right? Yeah. I mean, go go to you, go, from, go from YouTube. You could go to uh, Patreon or on Ko-Fi uh, as that video was put up on both places. So everything goes up on Patreon. There are some Patreon-only videos that go up. Uh, but anything that you find on YouTube, BitChute, Brighty, and a Rumble will be on Patreon. It'll also be on Ko-Fi. Ko-Fi doesn't have their own server, uh, but Patreon does. So Patreon is uploaded to Patreon. So you probably won't have any problems watching it there. Yeah, so hopefully try that next time. Absolutely. And so uh, tomorrow is the day that w there will be a test taking place by FEMA and the uh, FCC to make sure the messaging system in case of an emergency is working properly, so they say. It's set to begin at 2.20 Eastern time on Wednesday, and a message will be sent to your phone. Uh, I know a ton of people that are going to have their phones off and far away from them, just saying. And hopefully I can get through talking about this. This, will be, this is our take two. By the way, you know, I just I kind of wanted to address the idea of um, how frequencies get sent uh, through our phones and directed at us. And I, I know, Mike, we both work remotely. We do healing energy work and I work with tuning forks. I work with weighted forks that are silent. People cannot hear them, but they can certainly feel them. And we have done online tunings where people still use the tunings to this day and it, it, they still have an effect on them. Generally, what they do is they brighten the mood. They make you feel clearer, happier. They do lots of things. So if we can do that with sound, believe me, I think these people beings could send something that's negative through the airwaves and affect people in a way w which could make them grumpy so i just think people should um just keep an eye on things around them absolutely absolutely so just be aware uh a lot of people i mean there's such an awakening going on right now it's really incredible so this is the big news today the gays are 216 the nays are 210 the resolution is adopted Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The Office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. So there you go. And, you know, if you can't feel that electric uh, feel in the air, you know, you must be uh, maybe not having enough coffee. Things are getting just they're ramping up they're getting more and more tense and testy as you see former speaker mccarty or mccarthy i should say walking back into his office with a smile making no comments after being removed from his position as speaker of the u.s house of representatives y yeah it, it they are all puppets per se but it's all about how the masses, how the public perceives everything. And we have been on this collision course of left versus right. All the while, uh, there's, there's so many different things going on. There's that left versus right um, tension that is, is absolutely spilling over at this point. As you see, the interim speaker... Patrick McHenry aggressively slamming the gavel as he and 200 plus other Republicans fume over Kevin McCarthy's ousting. So, yeah, and then we have that going on while we have the Ukrainian situation. We have the world waking up to what exactly did happen back in uh, December of 2019 and, and in the following time period after it. 
as more and more people are spending times in graveyards and going to funerals than normal. And Matt Gates calls Kevin McCarthy a feature of the swamp. Oh, that word's familiar, is it not? So, you know, it's, it's interesting to see this. It's not unexpected. Again, we've been talking about that energy at the end of September uh, from 923 to 925. Uh, Mars and Saturn's position in, a, in the natal chart of the U.S. was showing there's going to be an awful lot of anger spillover and karmic repercussions. And, you know, when, when you have those conjunctions, it's not like that energy is just there for those two or three days. It, it it's pervasive and it lasts longer and it also is like uh, planting and watering seeds and then we have the eclipse coming on October 14th and and as that date uh, is approaching again maybe nothing happens on October 14th but things are going to be happening shortly thereafter uh, and and actually you know it really feels like the last part of this year, is going to just, uh, it's just going to kind of be very explosive. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's a lot of build up here, you know, and especially when we're dealing with a, pla a, a planet like Saturn, you know, Saturn is a very slow moving planet. And when it does do its magic, the magic kind of, well, it lingers and it stays, it stays for a while. So we will be dealing with Saturn's energy for some time moving forward and well, <laughs> Republican Troy Nels says he's nominating number 45 to be Speaker of the House. Actually, there's more people that have mentioned that than just him. It's interesting that the guides said um, back before uh, inauguration, actually even before the election took place in which 46 became 46, that's going to look like 45 is gone, but he's not really gone. That That's exactly uh, the words that they gave us and we told you uh, back, I want to say it was September uh, of, of election year, that they said that, and sure, it, it it did look like he's gone, but he's not really gone. No, there, there's still a role to play, and this role is being played out right now. And it doesn't mean uh, that he will be reinstated. It, it doesn't mean you know that 46 will or won't be reelected. It just means that his role in this is it, it's not done yet, and ultimately we're in the Pluto return of of the U.S. So the U.S. Is, is not going to be the U.S. that has been up until this point. It's being totally remade. And, you know, there are a lot of plans already laid uh, for the future of what has been known as the United States. Mm -hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Well, we will. We will. But I don't think we're going to have to wait too long. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I think... I, I think we shall see by uh, summer of next year uh, things that most people probably would not have ever dreamed of seeing. As one of his first acts as the acting speaker, Representative Patrick McHenry ordered former Speaker Nancy Pelosi to vacate her Capitol hideaway office by Wednesday. Yeah, you know, as, as Pelosi was just floating ideas of of returning to political life, oh, you know, the, they're just like the Roman Senate. It, it's it's like because of bloodlines, they stay there forever. And and again, this is what we've talked about so many times. You can tie all the presidents but one together through bloodlines. And here you have breaking. We have just obtained an injunction against CISA agency within the Department of Homeland Security that blocks them from violating the First Amendment rights of millions of Americans. The order also applies to the White House Surgeon General, CDC, and the FBI. So, and this is from Attorney General Andrew Bailey. What we are seeing is really, um, it's hard to explain it other than saying it. it's, it's definitely a breakdown and breakup 
Um, not quite perhaps going to be a civil war, not quite perhaps going to be a revolution, and it's going to be something maybe in between those. And yet it's it's not uh, going to last all that long, I don't think, either, because ultimately you still have the BRICS nations, you still have... Uh, you know, the war in Ukraine going on, which which will likely expand as this has all been planned for a long time. And, you know, you still have uh, plans beyond that for getting rid of and dissolving or all borders and literally dissolving nation states and going to truly a corporate world, a world that is run corporately. It already kind of is. Again, it's just a uh, a semblance of things to placate the humans so that they think they actually have some say in things. I know. I think we need to do that video and pick apart the Wizard of Oz. Oh, absolutely. Vanessa Carey, John Carey's daughter, by the way, married an Iranian national whose best man helped John Kerry broker the $150 billion deal with Iran. Big donation given to the Vanessa Carey Foundation. Yeah, it, it's all coming out. You know, this is uh, the good old boy network. They take care of their own. In fact, again, you know, when you come into these secret societies, because they will take in outsiders with, with talents and gifts, they'll tell you, you won't have to, you won't need for anything. Anything you want will be taken care of. You know, don't worry. You'll never have to worry about a thing. Uh-huh. We're in the middle of a revolution. Victor Davis Hanson warns Tucker, Tucker Carlson, the next 12 months will be the most explosive in history. This is a historian. I couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. And again, the writing's been on the wall a long time. And, you know, some may say chicken little, you're crying chicken little. Um, but fewer are saying that right now than saying, yeah, yeah, we, we can see it. It, it's pretty obvious, and it's hard, as this statement says, it's hard for most Americans to comprehend the total dishonesty, uh, as they term it, American liberalism. Um, well, it is capitalist. They are making themselves richer, after all, right? Well, every day, every minute, they're definitely not losing money. Uh, no, it, but it's the exposing this. And here you go, you know, there is a big pushback going on in case we can't see it switzerland's banning electric cars what yeah they use too much excess energy oh, during power shortages yeah but still you know we see there is pushback going on new freedom of information act documents reveal plague upon the land was a dod operation goes back a long time goes back to, uh, you know, Barry and Michael's time. Absolutely. And there's just been this huge, horrible uptick in violent crime. So on Monday, social justice advocate Ryan Carson was stabbed in Crown Heights neighborhood, New York. It, I watched the video and... You know, he's walking uh, with a lady there in a blue dress, and they walk past this person with the hoodie. Uh, the, the, the person just walks by them, but then stops by the car, appears to be, like, yelling at somebody. And then he turns around, they turn around, look, and then the person is approaching him with a knife and, and goes ahead and stabs him, and he did die. This is not an isolated case. There's been a whole bunch of crazy things going on. It's getting much more dangerous out there. Really th makes me think of uh, M dot period K dot period all dot 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 tra. Big time with all the frequencies, the you know, everything that's going on. So here you have a suspect leads a wild police chase, crashes into squad cars, drives on the freeway, flees on foot into oncoming traffic, and loses their wig amid the chaos. I mean, we saw, <coughs> we, we've seen, this is in Corona, California, by the way. 
We saw another one, which was a, a lady that was wearing a very, very, um, I don't know, I think she was wearing uh, some sort of something on her lower half anyway, and just shooting a gun randomly at traffic going by. It, this, this is the craziness that we are seeing. And, you know, here, this is in Italy, uh, a local being attacked by some that came over in in the boats and you know this is not good because now you know on Lampedusa these people are outnumbered three or four to one and and there are boats lined up ready to come just more and more and more and so he's well pulling them off the road so nobody runs him over as he takes his nap crazy times and this is lead city center where guys again are giving another couple a tough time and then following him into a mcdonald's and then he comes out and he gets attacked by four guys this type of thing is happening all over it's happening a lot in ireland in the uk it's happening a lot in in, in many states here in the u.s and and again other eu countries this was in August. A Vietnamese American man was one of many violently attacked in their home in Seattle by a group of burglars who were just targeting Asian people. Uh, yeah, we, we've seen just this is nonstop. It's just been going through the roof. And, you know, this is really, really sad. And when you think about what all those people do, uh, all the people coming over the border are enabling so many dark, nefarious acts to be totally hidden that almost there's no way you could keep keep track of all this. How could you? When you got tens of millions of people that have come across the border, not just in the U.S. and, and other countries too, 1,500 miles from Mexico border in, I guess you would call that Bemidji, Bemidji uh, Minnesota, a group of young girls were found by police, chained up, abused, etc. Eleven illegals were found at the scene when police conducted a search warrant. And, you know, only one little girl managed to escape and make her way to a hospital. You know, this this is going on constantly. Constantly. It, it's, it, it's horrendous. And when we see the actual power structure involved in this the real power structure the alphabet soups being tied into this oh talk about an awakening i mean this is just so horrible I, and think about it this is only one of the reported cases this is something that happens far 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 too often and unfortunately what it does without the right type of therapy and, and without the right type of support it can really, really shake up someone's entire life, you know, not just this moment, not just needing a few therapy sessions, but their entire life. And this is the generational trauma. This is trauma that can go down from parent to child and, and grandchild if it's not addressed appropriately. And we have this huge problem. And yes, the power structure is, um, they are. <laughs> those in power you know tell me that they're not responsible because they allow this to happen there could be so so much could be done to help keep others safe it, and it's just horrendous it's horrendous that this carries on and on and on yeah when you realize all of a sudden that you know <laughs> the good guys have been bad guys the whole time and you know that could be earth shattering for a lot of people and so, you know, what's the lesson? Well, we have to work with each other. Again, the system is never going to truly look out for us. The system's never been about looking out for us. It's only looked out for the system. So we got to get over all our little petty differences, and we really have to work together for the greater good. And, you know, that really is the bottom line. Let it start with your family, your friends, your neighbors, those close to you. Try to uh, do things that are going to hit them where it hurts as, as now we, you know, we see the weaponization of the IRS. This is why they wanted to double the amount of people working for the IRS. This is why the IRS is armed and has millions and millions of rounds because they don't serve us. No, <laughs> they serve the existing power structure, which is only out for itself. Indeed.
Thank you guys, as always. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.